So the time has come. Who except me can discuss on this topic? Because there are only two modifications which you can say on this channel. Kaiserreich and Kaiser Redux. Since I've been playing Hearts of Iron 4 for more than 6 years, I've seen a lot of different modifications, as well as saw different steps of their developing. I don't play the Vanilla Hui 4 because I don't really like it. I've played a lot of it from 2017 to 2019, so that was way more than enough for me. But at the same time, since fall 2017, I've been playing Kaiserreich till now. In 2020 we saw rise of the Kaiser Redux, and since that time a lot of things have changed, as well as both of those modifications. So let's compare them in different measurements and figure out which modification is better. The first question is content. Well, let's just compare how many updates did we see in 2023. Half of the year has already gone, so it's gonna be fair and interesting to compare them. This year Kaiser Redux has released more than 15 different large-scale updates. Tibet, Canada, New England, Vietnam, Belarus, Georgia, Ireland and many other countries. Those updates added a ton of new focus tree lines, so when you look at them you've got only one feeling. How am I supposed to play all of them? Kaiser Redux developers are doing a great work as well as other people who create modifications to this universe. And what do we have in the Kaiserreich? Well, for the whole year we saw two updates. A major one for Ukraine, which was released this June, and the minor one in February, which has updated China for a little bit. Of course Ukrainian rework is a good scene, it's a needed scene. But there is only one problem. It is the only one large-scale update for this year. I don't even want to talk about Indian or Russian reworks, which were frozen for several times. Russian and Indian reworks are promised to be released since 2020. But 2024 is coming soon and we still didn't see any Russian or Indian rework. Except the redrawing of the Indian border. The second question is gameplay saturation. Back then in 2018 or 2019, Kaiserreich was full of different interesting content and unpredictable turn of events. That is why I really loved Kaiserreich back then. I told my friends, look at your campaigns in the Vanilla Hui 4, they are just similar. Similar events, similar annexations, stupid mechanics and other stuff. And what do we see at the nowadays Kaiserreich? The same situation. They have unified all the scenarios and deleted all that random scene that wasn't the magnification for the whole time. Now I know that in every single game I'll see the Austrian unification, world crack that won't start before 1939, boring Russia with worst or military junta or tsar with a disgusting focus tree line. For a few years I've got that feeling that every single campaign in the Kaiserreich became the same and I really dislike it. Moreover, they have deleted a lot of interesting content and passes in a lot of countries. They castrated a lot of different content lines, especially in Russia. Meanwhile in the Kaiser Redux they are only adding and adding a lot of focus tree line, unique mechanics, and they delete something only because of the copyright, as it was with the Rotten Morgan and Goebbels pass in Germany. But even if they delete something, they will replace it with other stuff, like they replaced Goebbels with other focus tree line. Yeah, maybe it's not as interesting as it was before, but they still give a fuck about their modification, and that's one of the reasons why do I like to play Kaiser Redux. Each campaign is unique. Even looking on it from the mathematics theory, there are just way more combinations to happen with a unique outcome rather than in the Kaiser Reich which became a unified and predictable modification. The third question is optimization. Obviously it's on the side of the Kaiserreich. Every single person has problems with the FPS in the Kaiser Redux. Well, Kaiser Redux isn't optimized as well as the Kaiserreich, plus they've got way more content that makes your computer work even tougher, 
and they don't have so much time and resources to make it work as good as Kaiserak team do. Also deserves to be mentioned. We won't talk about schizophrenia and attempts of the Kaiserak developers to make the modification look even more real. For me, it was enough when I saw that the nowadays realities affect developing of the Kaiserak modification, which doesn't connect with the nowadays realities at all. I'm actually glad that the Kaiserak team supports Ukraine, and obviously me and my channel do the same. But when I saw that Ukrainian rework is made with a huge bias, and they added a lot of passes in Ukraine, pro-German, pro-Ukrainian, pro-nationalist, pro-syndicalist, and they are cool, but they fully deleted their pro-Russian pass or any pro-Russian events, sympathies. After that, I understood everything. In my opinion, nowadays realities shouldn't affect the game at all. If you want to help and support Ukraine, do it with the different fundraisings and not with the cancellation culture against the objective realities. If you wanna see a separate video of me looking on Ukrainian rework with all the details, let me know in the comments. Ok, just imagine the situation. What if we see a new wars in the future? For example, People's Republic of China invades Taiwan. And Kaiserak team says that they support Taiwan. So after that they will probably delete the whole communist pass for the China or delete all mentions of the communists in this universe. Do you actually think that it's ok? Personally, I don't. So deal isn't in Ukraine at all. Ukraine was just the reason to show their attitude to the nowadays realities. In my opinion, Kaiser Redux has regrown the status of schizophrenia that is used to be before. For me, now it's a better version of the Kaiser Reich in all cases, except the optimization of course. Modification that started from being a compilation of the Kaiser Reich add-ons became a better version of the Kaiser Reich itself. Kaiser Redux is obviously better than the Kaiser Reich.